Now we're joined by our guest, Dalvin Thomas. And Dalvin, good to talk to you, man. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you, man? Uh, we're doing good over here, man. It's 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 good to talk to you. Uh, let's start with this. A short week coming off a real tough loss to Tampa Bay. How did the team bounce back quickly to get back onto the field to get ready for Washington? Um, you know, we just have a lot of great players on the team that, you know, we have the mindset of we never quit. So we just came back, got right back to work, and just grind, just grinded all week. Now, this is your third head coach now with the Giants. How is it different or similar, your film review sessions with Joe Judge and this coaching staff to what you've seen before in the NFL? Um, I just feel like, you know, every coach is always different. But with Coach Judge, I just uh, love the energy he brings to every meeting and everything like that. And, um, you know, he's a great guy. He, he understands every part of the football, you know. And, you know, he was also at Alabama back in the day, so you got to love that part. <laughs> Absolutely, no <laughs> doubt about it. He talks about his, his sessions with you guys as being – very honest, and he says he's not going to apologize to holding you guys to a high standard. As a player, what does that feel like to you? What does that mean to you? Oh, I love it. Um, you know, you always have a coach like who holds you to a high standard and uh, calls you out in front of everybody, no matter how good you are on the field. Um, it just uh, makes you want to work that much harder for that guy. You know, we come come in every day into the building, want to grind for him just as much as the player next to you. Now, Dalvin, I think some players, or at least I've seen in the past, might take that approach a little bit personally. But, you know, Joe Judge talked to the media this week about how he's tried to build a relationship with you guys so you understand criticizing your play is not criticizing you as a person. How has he bonded with you guys that's allowed him to be so specific and, and be so detail-oriented with you in these film sessions during the week? Um, yeah, just uh, throughout uh, the season, throughout the training camp, you know, he always cracks jokes with you and stuff like that, you know, ask you personal questions just to get to know you, or go, getting to know more about you. He also um, tells you about himself, like, you know, like when he played football, things like that, how he got into coaching, so you could get to know each other on a more personal level. And um, he just, he's going to tell you straight up, like, he wants the uh, best out of you. He wants to help you grow as a player as well as a man. And um, after, you know, you just get to know somebody like that, it's hard not to, you know, take – not to be able to take criticism from him. Uh, he's just uh, trying to get the best out of you. He wants to, you to improve day to day in and day out. So, you know, so when you get to know him like that, it's hard, you know. You have to work, work hard, you know. This is how it is. So when you guys did look at that tape against Tampa, what were some of the things you guys did well that allowed you to slow down Tom Brady and a very talented offense in Tampa? Um, yeah, you know, the offense was talented across the board. And, um, yeah, just – Making plays on defense, you know, up front we we're, you know, stopping the run game, getting pressure in the backfield, things like that. Our DBs was just doing excellent in coverage. And, um, yeah, just being in the right places at the right time, you know, slowed down their offense a lot. You mentioned stopping the run. It's something your group has done very consistently all year. What's the secret sauce with you, Dexter, and Leo, and the job you guys do in conjunction, of course, with the linebackers? You have Austin and BJ. They, they come in. They help as well. What is it about you guys together that allow you to stop the run as well as you do? Um, just a mindset. You have to go in there just wanting to be the most physical guy on the in the up front. That's that's what we built off of. Uh, with us, I know with us three, we always go out there and we want to be the most physical people on the field. So we try to prove that every rep we get. Now, depending on the scheme, obviously, you one gap, you're two gap. What are some of the fundamentals that they teach you guys that allow you to be successful against the run so consistently? Um, pretty much you have to have good, great hands as a, a defense alignment and also just block destruction, getting off of blocks, and uh, just being able to be square and make a play. And how much of that is, is gap discipline and, and making sure you just do your job? So you, even though you're trying to make a play, you mm -hmm. might find yourself out of position, which could leave a gap. Oh, yeah, it's all that. Uh, you know, you always have to have gap discipline. And, um, you know, you have to make the plays that come to you. You can't just run out your gap and just try to make a play. You have to make the plays that come to you. You know, when Joe Judge hired this coaching staff, Dalvin, he talked about wanting to hire teachers. You've been through a lot of position coaches, a lot of coordinators. What's different and unique about how Coach Graham, Coach Spencer, and we'll talk about him specifically in a second, teach you guys that has allowed it to – get through the way it has, even considering the lack of off-season reps on field work that have allowed you guys to gel the way you have? Um, yeah, the coaches we got with Coach Graham and Coach Spencer, it's like uh, we pay a lot of attention to the small details. Like even if you do something good, it probably could have been done better or made it your life a lot easier in that play. So, you know, we always focus on the smallest details and, um, you know, just always room for improvement. That's the mindset we come in with every day. 
you can hear Coach Spencer coaching you guys from 100 yards away on the other side of the practice field. <laughs> what is it like working for him? Yeah, Coach Spencer, you know, he brings a lot of energy uh, to practice and to the games. You know, I don't think I ever had some, like been around somebody who brings that much energy day in and day out. Well, you probably could say Coach Cochran back in Bama, but yeah, Coach Spencer, he's going to he's gonna bring a lot of energy now. And that's, that energy motivates you, to, you know, just to keep working. Like, even if you're, like, yeah, in practice, if you've been in for a while, you know, you want to get this next play and get this technique perfect just for him because of the way he's got that energy on the sideline yelling at you. So you get super excited from that. Coach Graham talked this week, Dalvin, about how he kind of installed the defense this year in that you install your individual schemes that everyone has to learn – every responsibility out there which allows him to use you guys in different roles and different responsibilities how has that helped your team able to be multiple so while you're still not doing a bunch of different things you're able to confuse the offense because different guys can do different things on different plays based on alignment yeah i think that's super important simply because you know you know everybody what, what everybody's around you is doing so it helps you play better because you know where the gap this linebacker has or this safety may be coming down in this one and um just being able to switch without having to switch personnel all the time helps out a lot too because we could discuss like you said we could discuss things a lot more easily hey giant fans get a new york giants checking account from investors bank with a giants branded debit card security features and discounts at the giants online shop you can earn up to $250 when you open an account at InvestorsBank.com slash Giants. Member FDIC. Do you think you're playing your best football this year? Uh, I think I'm getting there. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say quite yet, but I you know it's, a, it's a, like I said, it's always a road for improvement. So that's I'm, I'm still improving. Where do you think you've made the most progress as a pass rusher? Um, I don't know. I, I really haven't sat down and thought about it, but I would have to say just uh, just getting pressure in the middle, you know, just trying to collapse the pocket because, you know, as a as a D tackle, you know, it's not always about getting the most sacks and things like that. It's you not know, how much can you affect the quarterback, but uh, how can can you tip the ball? Can, can you tip his passes down? Can you get the old lineman to step on his feet to get him uncomfortable in the pocket to get him out of his game? So you know, you always got to think about things like that when you're playing D tackle. Yeah, I feel like all you defensive linemen have done a great job of getting your hands up in the passing lanes this mm -hmm. year. Is that something that that's been a a, a place of emphasis for you guys in practice uh most definitely we worked on it a lot in the off season uh well not off season but uh you know training camp and things like that throughout the season and um yeah it's just you know like i said before if you tip a pass here and there it could be a real game changer it might be a third and long you tip a pass and now uh, they got a punt rather than you know converting it what's it been like working with dexter and leonard as you three guys as the starters in your odd man fronts oh man i love those guys you know i feel like we still like we, we we built a lot of chemistry playing together, and we all play off of each other, and I just feel like it just keeps improving every time we practice together. So I love those guys. You know, those they, I love them. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. And it feels like this defense, and not just your group, Dalvin, I'll, I'll, I'll let you speak for the for the entire unit here. You are one of the captains. Mm -hmm. I feel like the whole group has been very assignment sound this year. I mean, you've seen it the last couple of years. You'll have free runners sometimes. There'll be a run. There's nobody in the gap. Why do you think – this group, and I understand there's always different players, different coaches. I'm not trying to compare to, to past teams. But why do you think this group specifically has been able to be so assignment sound, which has mm -hmm. really prevented some of the big plays that we've seen cost your defense so much over the past few years? Um, just the players we've got right now, you know, everybody's selfless. Uh, when somebody else makes a big play, we all get excited. Not just when one person makes a big play. Or like we're, you, know, you know, we all share the same energy for each other, like, if Dex go make a big TFL, we all happy for Dex. If Blake comes down and get a sack, like we all happy for him. So it's like everybody's so selfless and just so locked in to their details, to their assignment, and do your job. Like that's one of the main focuses on the defense. Everybody knows that we have to do their. You have to do your job for the everything to work out perfectly like we wanted to. The New York Giants in Quest Diagnostics want our fans to come back stronger than ever. Now you can order your own lab test through Quest Direct to get the health answers you need most. All right, let's talk about Washington. What you learn about them in your first matchup, which on game day will just be four weeks ago. Um, yeah, that was crazy. How, yeah, a quick turnaround. But, um, you know, they have they have weapons across the board, you know, just like any other team in the NFL. And um, you have to, we have to come out with the mindset, like, you know, even though we just played them a couple of weeks ago, it could, they game playing you and they're ready to change up a lot of things, to, you know, to go against what we played against a couple of weeks ago. How much do you think – you and them can both change. They've only played one game 
since you guys played them, which is amazing. They had a bye last week. So how much do you think they can really change in terms of what they do based on what you saw in your previous matchup? Um, I think they could change a lot. Uh, not, I wouldn't say like per like personnel wise, they wouldn't change uh, anything crazy. Of but course, scheme wise, you know, it may be like a whole different type of running game than it was before, or they might do more like play actions rather than drop back passes and things like small things like that. Tendencies, things yeah, the like tendencies that, right? may change up a lot. So talk about the running game. Uh, Antonio Gibson's coming off a big game against Dallas. He can do a little everything. Uh, McKissick has made some big plays. He had a couple long runs against you guys. What are the challenges of slowing down their rushing attack? Oh, you know, it always starts with the run. You have to be able to stop the runs there so you can have the opportunity to pass rushing. Uh, and, then, you know, they they got some good backs. And, they, like you say, they coming up some big games and things like that. So, you know, we have to go out there and slow them down as much as possible and stop the run before we could go out there and have some fun on the pass rush. Yeah, they're also a big screen team, Dalvin. Does mm -hmm. that make you guys sometimes have to take a little bit of a, of a breath and a second look instead of, oh, man, I have an opening. I'm getting a field here because that could just be baiting you guys into a screen. Yeah, most, like you can't uh, you can't go out there thinking, like, oh, it's a screen because as soon as you start doing that, you start to rush slower and give them more time in the backfield. So you have to go out there with the mindset. Of as a defense, we always react anyway. So you have to go out there and play normal and then react off the screen. And most of the time, like the big guys up front, we always retrace and we come back from the backside making a tackle. You know, you talked about stopping the run, and to me, Dalvin, watching from the outside, I really think a key to this defense this year has been the coaching staff's ability to trust you guys up front on the defensive line with either your, you know, front six or front seven, depending on what the package is on offense, to stop the run without having to bring that extra safety into the box. Mm -hmm. Because it seems like that allows him to disguise a lot of the things he's doing on the back end. When you have two safeties deep, you can put that into any coverage you want, more or less. Mm -hmm. How big of an emphasis has that been to try to stop the run with just your linebackers and defensive linemen so they can be a little bit more flexibility with an inexperienced secondary to do some different things back there? Yeah, that's uh, that's what we're, we, we strive for, to be able to stop the run with just the you know the big guys up front and then you know that makes this, this parts of a great defense you know you want to start to stop the run with just the big guys so you can have like you said you could be able to disguise more things in the back end and make the the game a lot harder for the quarterback and things like that so you know we up front we always try to be like you know just put the run on our back like we don't stop the run that's that's on us you can put that on us and um we we take great pride in stopping the run up front Brandon Sheriff, he's a guy that is an excellent guard. When you go up against him, what are you thinking? What are your keys in order to try to get the best of him over the course of the game? Um, you know, um, you, you, when you go against uh, Brandon, you know, you just try to, you know, it depends on what scheme we're in, of course. But, you know, you always want to work half of a man because, you know, he's going to grab you. <laughs> <laughs> so don't go down the middle of him. Don't go down the middle at all. So you always want to work half of him. You get the hands down, work the hands, and you, you play off of that. Finally, Dalvin, where do you think, big picture question, your team and your defense specifically has improved the most over the course of the year, and what are you guys focusing on on that next step to continue to improve? Um, just over the course of the year, I just say um, that the, the effort everybody gives is just like on a whole different level. Like you could you could see, like when we're out there playing, like people are like um, giving it their all. Like we're we're going out there grinding, we're grinding throughout the whole week, and then like you could tell, like we're playing for each other. And um, uh, we're just focused on the you know, just we have to just continue to strive to play 60 whole minutes and finish the game the way we want to finish it. And um, we have to just keep grinding and keep working, and um, things are going to turn around for us.